What's up YouTube, N55David here, and today we're gonna to be installing the rear, what, emblems for the BMW F30 and F25. So here we got the 335 in black, and the X3 in black as well, and they are going to replace the chrome emblems on the back of both of the BMWs. So basically what you're going to need is, you know, some cleaner, cause you gotta clean the area, um, something to heat the emblems up. It's not necessary if it's real hot out, uh, it just makes it easier. I don't have a heat gun, so I found an old hair dryer, and uh, it's real simple, real simple. All right guys, so first thing we're gonna do Take some alcohol, clean this all down, it's dirty. Once you get this off, there's probably going to be some adhesive on the back side of the emblems. And then once you clean it, you're not going to know where it goes. It's real easy to put it in the wrong spot. It'll look weird if you get them off. And so you want to, best thing to do is take some tape. I can get it off the roll. Just like that. Now we're all taped off. So we're gonna need to heat this up. Like I said, I don't have a tape gun. I got a old hair dryer and we're gonna get it warm. So what you wanna do, probably not gonna be able to hear me while I'm doing this. So what you wanna do is you wanna apply heat evenly across the emblem. You do not wanna hold the heat in any one spot. You don't want anything too hot. You could damage paint. Who knows? And you don't really want to deal with that. So, in my case, I'm going to set it to a warm setting, not hot. And I'm going to turn it on low. <clears throat> and I'm going to pass it along back and forth, kind of getting everything. I want to heat the whole area up evenly. And just that simple.
So you can use a lot of different things to get it off. You can take it off, you can use fishing line, you can, you, there's a ton of stuff you can use. But honestly, if you get it hot enough, it'll just come right off. And those need to be warmed up a little bit. And then you can kinda, kind of peel this off and actually roll it and it'll it'll just it'll just roll right off and then when you get enough of it off you can use some sort of cleaner um, you know, like a goo gone or something like that and uh, you can pop them right off it's real easy Use a card. Honestly, I didn't really care about saving any of this. I'm not gonna reuse them. I'm not gonna save them. It's really not that big of a deal. Replacement emblems are cheap. So if I really wanted the stock chrome ones, I could just buy new ones. It's not that big of a deal. Alright guys, we've got some uh, spray cleaner uh, goof off and uh, so what we're going to do here, just spray it on, kind of let it set for a second, it doesn't really take long and then the rag. starts coming right off. Might take a couple of passes, but
guys. It's about as clean as we really need it. It's mostly gone. There's a little bit there. So take the other end of the rag, put some alcohol on it. Yeah, we're gonna clean this area real good, real thorough. We want getting in a last bit of residue and clean off anything that would keep the adhesive on the new emblems from sticking. So the cool thing about this particular pack is when you actually peel this off, the pieces should stay on this plastic here and then we can put it all at, on one time here. actually closer together. Oh well. So YouTube now that the 335 is done we're gonna move on to the x3 we're gonna do the same thing so I'm not gonna show you everything uh, so we'll, we'll go through it much quicker majority of it just doing it that way it's the easiest way to do it
what they look like. And again, the X Drive badge on the 335, should I keep it? Should I remove it? I know a lot of guys like taking them off. It now doesn't match my 335 emblem, so I'm probably gonna take it off. But if you feel strongly one way or the other, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Otherwise, if you like the vids, if you wanna see more, like my video here, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you soon, guys. Take care.